Stephen A., you're absolutely right, man. And listen, this is – we in basketball season, and it just jumped off, right? Kobe last game, we saw him score 60. We knew Jordan could still get 25 when he was with the Wizards. If he wanted to, he shot enough shots. That's the situation I see Tom Brady in right now. Like, we see the glimpses of greatness, and we know why we talk about Tom Brady in the light that we do. But they are cooked food, and, and Tom Brady is not the same player. Um, when you look at not only this offense, and he talked about the struggles, not blocking well, holding penalties, can't get on the same page with wide receivers. When is the last time we said that about a Tom Brady-led team? Him and Mike Evans are having moments this season where it looked like they didn't even play together. These dudes have won a Super Bowl together. They've been to the pinnacle together as a football team. You look all throughout this team, and we talked about it. Stephen, you brought it up last Friday. The, the psyche as well. Like, when Tom Brady walks in the locker room, there's an aura that follows him. And a lot of guys are going to determine how they're going to go about their business, where they are as a football team, based on how Tom Brady is approaching his job. Because that's the leader, that's the quarterback, but more importantly, that's the seven-time Super Bowl champion. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are cooked, bro. And it, it really, the fortunate thing for them is that they play in a division where they'll probably still be in the conversation for playoffs come the end of the season. But we don't see, this team ain't winning the Super Bowl. And I know damn well he ain't come back at 45 years old just to barely make the playoffs or get in them. First off, Swagoo, don't you do that because I know that you think LeBron's the GOAT and so you're not going to want to shed a light well, on what's I'm going not, on with him and his 30. career. You ain't... He's you ain't have to you ain't have to go all the way back to Michael Jordan with the Wizards. I mean the man owned the team for God's sake as Stephen A would say. You could just look at LeBron and the Lakers right now cuz LeBron could still get 30 and he has gotten 30 this year, but his team is terrible just like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> LeBron no longer scares people just like Tom Brady don't scare people. So don't try to go back to Jordan so we don't pay attention to what's don't going you do on. In LA. It makes me sad. Don't you also. Do that. But when you That's think about Tom Brady, it's not blasphemous, it's the truth. So when you think about Tom Brady, I think Stephen A makes a, a, a great point. Pause, 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 because ladies and gentlemen, these are, are two LSU LeBron brothers James. going at each other. The I floor is y'all's. I'm but enjoying we, this right Kobe now. Two guy. LSU brothers Kobe going is at each other. They still fear Braun. I understand. I understand. Go ahead, RC. The floor is yours. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, because LaMarcus, he going to throw shade on Jordan and Kobe because he don't want nobody to see that LeBron dang near walking up the court right now. Anyway, um, <laughs> when we look at Tampa Bay, it wasn't just about what Tom Brady could do physically. It's exactly what Stephen A. said. It was about the fact that we always thought no matter what was in the locker room, Tom Brady could elevate a team. Tom Brady could get a team, could get players to be better than what they are or what they were. That's no longer the case. The reason Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay was because of what Tampa Bay could help Tom Brady with that New England no longer could. Tom Brady didn't want to have to go scream at guys after every route to be at the right depth or to get on the same page with him. He didn't want to have to scream at the offensive line and throw tablets because he wasn't being protected or because they couldn't get a run game. That's what we're seeing in Tampa Bay right now, compounded by the fact that this once vaunted and great defense against the run is one of the worst we we're watching in football. When you think about last week, the Carolina Panthers with P.J. Walker, who you knew they had to run the ball. They couldn't stop them. And then the second half, when the Baltimore Ravens decided and Greg Roman said, you know what, we're just going to be where we are. We're going to stop trying to put lipstick on a pig. They, they rush to the tune of 230. Yeah. This team just isn't good. Tom Brady has a part to play in it. Tom Brady is no longer the greatest quarterback in sports. But on the outside of that, this isn't the team he unretired to be a part of. Whether it's the offensive line, yeah. the injuries outside, or who they are defensively, this isn't the Tampa Bay team that he thought could win a championship. Hey and by God, if they do make the playoffs by the skin of their teeth, they're going to be home probably as fast as we will because they'll lose in the wild card round. Hey, Ralph. guys, we're talking football and we're getting into it a little bit. Let me say, let me ask this question and put them up on the screen, please, because I want to see both of them. I got to ask y'all a question because y'all played this game. 
We didn't. And I, I and I get it. And I don't blame football players for getting annoyed when folks act like we know stuff that y'all know because something like this y'all could speak to far more eloquently than we can. Todd Bowles is a first-year head coach in Tampa Bay. Obviously, mm. he was a former head coach in, in, in New York. Yeah. I have been on this, on this podium for many, many years preaching about the importance and the need for black coaches to get these opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. Guy like Mike Tomlin, he deserves it, even though they're struggling this year. We know what his, re his record speaks for itself, spanning a decade plus. What really raked my nerves, I know Indomitian Sue is gone. Okay, I get that part. I understand that. We know there's been some injuries and what have you. Still, my expectation was this team is going to look at least similar to what we saw last year. Mm -hmm. I want to know in y'all eyes, how should we view how this team is playing under the stewardship of Todd Bowles this season, knowing he was there last year as the defensive coordinator and the year before when they won the Super Bowl, not to mention the fact that Byron Leftwich is still an offensive coordinator, so that's familiarity there. I had better and greater expectations based on the continuity that exists, even though Bruce, Bar Bruce Arians is gone and Todd Bowles is there. I haven't seen it. They've dipped precipitously. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.